Guys, I got crazy news. Things are about to change. I just got this package from my car indirectly getting broken into in Los Angeles. The rental car, it sounds like a hefty claim. I promise it's not cap. I'm gonna circle back and explain everything, connect the dots so it makes perfect, perfect sense. But let me know if you guys notice anything different. Yes, sir. New cam, T7X. No more iPhone clips. Maybe, rarely. I'm gonna do my best, guys. First time with the new camera. These are some fresh profile pictures I just printed out. Getting ready to cut them up and put them on the skateboard. So it's pretty much every skater's dream to go to LA and skate these famous spots. LA is like the mecca of skateboarding. But even if you don't skate, most people want to go to LA and make it out there for an acting dream they're pursuing. They want to go walk Hollywood Boulevard and randomly meet that famous person that they idolize so much or a favorite YouTuber. For us skateboarders, it's pro skateboarders. This trip, what it meant to me, what it means to a lot of us other skaters. If you don't skate, it's like going to nationals and you're on a basketball team. You've been training hard all season and your team are going to nationals, you're on a tour bus, and then you sprain your ankle while you're out there. And you don't want nothing else to go wrong while you're out there. So that's basically what happened to me. The first thing I do is I hit up Han and I go skate El Sereno. After that, I go to Stoner by myself. I'm a loner. Bars. Famous skate park, Chris Chan, Spencer Martin, they've skated there. A bunch of other pro skaters have skated there. I made it a promise to myself that this trip I will make it to Venice. I didn't make it to Venice on my first trip. I planned it so that I would get there during golden hour between five and seven. I hit up Han, he told me exactly where to park. I literally pulled up at the exact spot that he told me on the coordinates. He just like dropped a pin and I looked to my right and there's one parking spot open at the exact parking spot where he said I'd be good. So I go, I skate Venice. It was everything I imagined. A nice breeze, you see the coast, the mountains, you see the sun about to set, and then you see just the beautiful ocean, the seagulls. I come back to my car and my car is there. No windows busted out. I'm like, yes, no tickets. I'm ecstatic. I didn't want to eat on the boardwalk because I knew it'd be like $10 for like some fries and a burger or something like that. So I was like, yo, I'm staying in Little Tokyo. Let me go get some Japanese food, all right? So I hit up this spot, there's no parking. So I park at the spot, my Airbnb, and I'm like, I'm gonna go skate over there, right? And I'm gonna be right back. So I make sure I'm good on parking. I get the food, here's where I messed up. I messed up because I took the food upstairs, ate it, and then came back down to move my car, right? It wasn't that long. If you must know, this is what I was doing while I was getting robbed, scammed, finessed, finammed. I'm only one block away from my Airbnb. I come downstairs to get my charger and move my car closer. When I saw glass in the back seat, that's when I realized someone broke the window. I got a lot of things going through my mind right now. I'm like trying to see if they took anything. I see the backpack missing, but then I realized they took my actual car keys to my car in Fort Lauderdale in the parking garage. So even if I ended the trip right now and flew back home, I couldn't drive back home because my car keys has been stolen. I'm about to get charged a fee. How am I gonna explain this? I wanna feel like I'm responsible. I want people to feel like I'm responsible enough to go on these spontaneous trips alone and be okay, right? And not have anything bad happen to me where I need to call for help in like a cornered situation like that. There was an event the next day and I was like, yo, how am I gonna make it out to the event? Like, I feel like the trip's kinda done, bro. Like. What am I gonna do, just tape up the window? Like, I should return the car right now. I'm like thinking responsible. Enterprise was closed and the police, they don't actually come out to these sort of issues. That was no help. So I'm thinking like, all right, man, they left your skateboard. Maybe this means something, you know? Maybe you should go to that event tomorrow. I know it would mean a lot to you if you go to that event tomorrow. So I go to that event and I'm driving an hour up to Lancaster, Palmdale area with all the windows down, because if you drive with like just the one busted window open, you hear that, whoa, 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 whoa. you know, it's really annoying. And then I have the time of my life out there, you know, so I got to meet Brian, Jay, uh, I saw Ipe again, you know, he was there on my first trip, met Mowgli, Ivan, Freddie, Fernando. I was surprised that a lot of my supporters were out there, like actually just like recognizing me and like asking for like board signs and all that. And I was just like, yo, mad respect like i appreciate y'all if if y'all only knew the night i just had before coming to this event and like putting on a happy face for y'all 
you know what I mean? And like skating and having a good time, like it just meant so much to me that like people like really cared and it just kind of made me forget about all the bad stuff that was like happening, you know, on the back end that they don't know about. When I got back from LA, I put up a video basically explaining why I haven't been posting. Where's the skate life video from Los Angeles? You know, it's been like two weeks. I was venting about how stressed I was from editing and how I just got hit with this massive fee and all this money I spent on a holiday weekend. Just to LA, you know, it's not even like you left the country, but you're spending money like you left the country. One of my childhood best friends reached out and he donated the money to cover the fee from Enterprise. And I'm so grateful. Thank you, John, for that. You know, I'd already paid for the fee with my credit card. I also found out today the result of my claim with MasterCard. They were able to reimburse me $200 out of the total amount for the fee. So I basically got this camera from putting out that video if I didn't put out that video of being stressed and venting, my friend wouldn't have reached out and donated. I was already planning on getting this camera. I was just asking, you know, my vlogger friends. I'm just so grateful. Like, you can find a positive thing in a negative. So just don't stop looking for the positive. But I will say that in your darkest times, hope is something that you give yourself. In the words from Uncle Iroh from Avatar. Hope you guys got a lot of value from me talking and telling this story about what happened in LA. If you have like a similar situation and you're trying to get out somewhere and go on a trip by yourself, don't leave your stuff in the car ever. It's just not a good idea. That's where you messed up. Before you go, I will say that I'm doing another PFP board, my profile picture boards where I take your profile pictures and put it on a skateboard as grip tape. So right now I'm gonna finish the Twitter board. It's not a lot of people that have Twitter. So if you have an Instagram account, follow this Instagram account. I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here and go follow me and just DM me, right? And that's all you gotta do. I'm gonna screenshot your profile picture, which is why you have to DM me. DM me, I'm gonna screenshot your profile picture and then print it out, cut it up, put it on the skateboard. If it doesn't make this skateboard, guess what? We got more skateboards. Let's be clear, four. I think these are size like eight, eight two five, and then this one's another eight. And then we got a Houston skateboard. This one's a little busted, but it'll still be a good project, so. Hit me up, just DM my second account, all right? I wanna build a strong core, core following on this account right here, my second account, so that I can just reach out to you guys directly. I feel like my current Instagram account doesn't push out my content uh, the way I would want. So I'm gonna post clips here, of my skating and stuff. I think I'm gonna put like important messages on this account, like I posted a new YouTube video, cause I feel like it'll reach you guys a whole lot better on this second account than it does on my main account. We're giving away these four boards, so stay tuned, follow this account, and get at me. All right guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys like the new camera, and and can't wait to vlog with it. Peace. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, pipe down, bitch. Pipe <laughs> down. Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Okay, then. So this is all the clothes that I have left. What they didn't take. Right. And they left my skateboard, but they took my car keys, right? They took my car keys for my car that's in Miami in a parking garage right now. We made it back in Florida. I got the spare key. Thank you, Ty, for bringing my spare key. How far did you drive just to bring me this spare key? 60 miles. 60 miles. What is that? Like 45 minutes, 50? Appreciate you, bro.